everybody and welcome to Learn How to WordPress. Today we're going to take a look at a question that we get asked quite often here and that is what is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? A lot of people are surprised when they first start with WordPress to find out that there are two different flavors if you will and so we're going to take a look at both so you can make a decision about what works best for you. With WordPress.com there are multiple advantages. One, it's very easy to set up and maintain it because WordPress does everything for you. You can honestly be up and running with them in about a minute or two. They also will spread your website out over multiple servers, which makes it kind of bomb-proof. So if something crashes and something uh, goes wrong with your website, you can usually have WordPress get it back because it's backed up on other uh, servers within their farm. So uh, WordPress does take care of all the hosting. You do not have to have your own hosting account. And everything is free as long as you use the uh, domain.wordpress.com type of a URL where domain is whatever you want it to be, whether it's widgets.wordpress.com or baking.wordpress.com. So as long as you're okay with that kind of a URL, then everything about WordPress.com is absolutely free. So kind of the downsides of it are, number one, uh, if you don't want to do the domain.wordpress.com uh, type of a URL, then you'll either need to register a domain through WordPress, which is $17 a year, which is more expensive than you would usually pay at some place like GoDaddy, where you're going to pay about $12 a year. Or if you already own a domain, then you're going to have to pay $12 a year to map that domain to your WordPress blog. And unfortunately, in that case, where you own the domain someplace else, say GoDaddy, you're paying them $12 a year for your domain, and then you're paying $12 a year for your mapping. So you're, now you're at $24 a year, which is a really expensive amount to pay for your domain. So that's one of the advantages of the WordPress.org where you can just get your domain anywhere you want to and just pay the $12 a year or whatever it is. Also, and this is a major one, no plugins with WordPress.com. One of the strengths of WordPress is the ability to add extra functions to your website by adding plugins. They're just plug and play types of programs, generally speaking. Uh, things like if you want to add a Twitter feed or a Facebook like button. Add an extra contact form or maybe have a sign up form for a newsletter or to run ads or things of that nature. All of that can be done through plugins, but you cannot do that on WordPress.com. Also, the look of your WordPress site will be based on themes and WordPress.com has a very limited number of themes to choose from. Uh, as my calculations are based on the number of themes available with WordPress.com versus the number of WordPress.com sites there are that regardless of what theme you choose the odds are you will be sharing that theme or that look and feel of a website with about a hundred fifty thousand other websites so it won't be very unique I mentioned ads a second ago you cannot place ads on a wordpress.com site of any kind although WordPress may place ads on your site but they keep all of the revenue for that so they have the right to put the ads on there that's kind of how they pay for everything or everything can be free to you um, but you don't get to revenue share in that at all so basically you have very little control of your site when you use WordPress.com. With WordPress.org, the advantage is thousands of plugins. I've already talked about that, but adding functions to your website are very simple through the use of plugins, which are allowed. There are thousands of premium themes out there, so you're not limited to the themes on WordPress.com. There are thousands and thousands of premium themes that are going to run in price anywhere from $30 to $80, but to have a phenomenal looking site right out of the box, it's well worth that price. With WordPress.org, you really get to own your domain and brand. There is no domain.wordpress.com. You can go to any source you want to. We recommend GoDaddy to get a domain, and that could be the domain for it. So by keeping WordPress out of it, you really get to take full ownership of uh, the name of your website and the brand and things of that nature. You also control ads. If you want to monetize your site, you can put, uh, you can be it, have affiliate ads or Google AdSense, uh, and revenue that is generated goes to you, not WordPress. So you have full control over your ability to, to play ads on your site if you wish to. Uh, generally speaking, unlimited storage for your site. That's really a, a function of your hosting account, but nowadays most hosting accounts offer unlimited storage. WordPress.com, you can only get three gigabytes of storage. Uh, so you really have nearly complete control over your site with WordPress.org. Uh, on the negative side, uh, you do need to get a hosting plan. We recommend GoDaddy. Uh, we like the way the service that they offer. They do spread your site over multiple servers, which protects it from crashes and losing everything that you work so hard to put together. Um, and there is a link down below this video that will take you there. 
Uh, setup is more involved. You do have to set up a MySQL database within your hosting account. Uh, however, if you do use that GoDaddy link below this video and purchase at least a year's worth of hosting, which if you're serious about this site or blog that you're building, a year's commitment is a very small thing, uh, then we will set up your WordPress site for free so that you don't need to worry about that part of it and you can just jump right into using the site. And so you do also have to control spam and uh, and backing up your website. However, there are plugins that will allow you to automate that so that uh, you can rest easy that everything's taken care of. So in review, between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, with WordPress.com it's easy and mostly free, depending on whether what uh, URL you want to use. Uh, WordPress.org, complete control over your site. So WordPress.com is really best suited for hobby sites or special interest websites or blogs, whereas WordPress.org is really the choice for serious writers or businesses uh, for their websites. So hopefully this helped explain it. If you do have any questions, feel free to, to post them and we're happy to answer them for you. Uh, most of the people here at Learn How to WordPress, do use WordPress.org because it really gives you the control and functionality that you need uh, for a truly spectacular website or blog. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.